Hi, welcome to my studio showroom. We are about to photograph a musical recording artist who will be here soon. Um, and I'm just gonna show you the lay of the land here and the lights. Our main light is a B2 head. It's bareheaded and it's going to light our subject, but it's also going to spill onto this reflector. And the reflector, a silver reflector, is gonna pound a lot of light back. That way we don't have too deep a shadow. Um, our second light on the B2 pack is, is a bareheaded B2 head, and that is um, lighting our background. So it is a background light. It is not a hair light, it's a background light. And it's at about a 45 degree angle from the background so that it lights it fairly evenly. Then above me, you can see there's another head that has a, a zoom reflector on it, and that's a B1 head. That's going to just be a hair light. I realize I have no hair, but our subject does. And that's going to separate him from that background. All right, we're in the studio with recording artist Ben Thompson, and we're ready to take the shot. So let's get that done. You ready, Ben? Let's do it. Raise that harmonica up a bit. There you go, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've got that shot, we're going to change it up a little bit. We like it, but we want to amplify it. We want to make it a little bit better, more contrasty, more interesting, much more dramatic. And the way we've done that is we've added a set of barn doors to our main light. We've also added a 30 degree grid. So what's happening with that is it's going to really direct the light only where we want it. We've really closed the, uh, the barn doors down, which allows the light to kind of slash across his face it barely hits the harmonica, and then we've opened up the left side of the barn doors so that they'll hit the reflector and bounce back on his face just a little bit to give us some kind of fill in that dark shadow. But we still want a really, really dark shadow. In the background, um, we've actually uh, added a 10 degree spot, a grid spot to the hair light so that it definitely doesn't hit our lens and it's only hitting his hair. In the very back here, we have moved our background light, which is a B2 head, and we've, we've added not only a 10 degree grid, but we've also added a snoot to it. So it's really directing a very small channel of light directly across the backdrop, adding a lot more contrast, a lot more texture to the background, and you're gonna see that in the shot. All right, let's shoot this shot then. All right, you ready? Let's do it. All right, chin down just a little bit, and awesome. So you can see when you compare the two side by side that the first is great, it's, uh, it's well lit, it's a nice portrait, but when you take the grids and the snoots and the, and the barn doors and add those in, you get a much, much more dramatic image. And so you can see how these small little modifiers make a huge difference.